That's what people want to see is a crash. Nobody's seen one yet. The crash footage that you guys just saw happened over a week ago and it has taken this long to recap because we just want to make sure everything is okay. This is exactly where it happened and all that is left is some or the scuff marks into the actual concrete. You can see some of the damage there. There are bits and pieces of broken machinery and broken carbon fiber all scattered throughout. In the furthest corners, there are little bits of shrapnel still laying here. You can even see a small piece of his hoverboard right here. Small carbon fiber piece. There's another piece here, another one here. This crash is seriously no joke. And it's crazy to be standing literally exactly where he came crashing down, landing right here in front of our eyes, completely helpless. There was nothing any of us could do. We couldn't run up, we couldn't touch the board with all of those spinning blades. We would have gotten chopped up to pieces. And so we just, there's nothing to do. We just had to sit and watch and hope that everything would work out. After sitting there and just watching the crash unfold in front of my eyes, all I can think about is, Hunter, are you okay? And it's amazing after everything and the dust settles, Hunter is actually still alive and he's still in one piece. So Hunter, you're standing literally right where you crashed. Your feet were above your head when things started going bad. What was the first thing that went through your mind? So this brings back memories. So I survived, like he said. The only thing that's been damaged is my wrist. It's a little kind of, it's a little messed up, but it's been all right healing itself over the past few days. But here we are a couple days later, things are working out well uh, with the repairs. I've been kind of nonstop working on this thing to fix it. But uh, I guess for like, as my reaction, when I was up there flying the basketball, it came towards me. And I remember clearly right when it hit that propeller. And it was unusual because at first I was like, wait a second, I don't feel it, everything's fine. But watching back this footage, you can see where I started to kind of yank the throttle up and down and I got too pushy with it. And I started to kind of like overcompensate and swing side to side and eventually things just went south and I just let off the gas and just fell straight down, which is kind of what I'm programmed to do, right? I mean, because like you don't want to hit the ground with everything running full power. That's not very smart. So in the back of my head, I'm always set. If things start getting bad, just let it go and just kind of crash. <laughs> and then from up in the sky, plummeting straight down onto the, the rock hard. You can see how crazy this must have hit because these indents are deep. They go down a few layers of paint all the way to the solid concrete and then and then some. Yeah, so something like this, that's probably where the motor smashed into it. They're pretty bent up. Uh, pretty much everything is kind of destroyed on it. These are probably the propellers chopping into the ground. Uh, yeah. Because they definitely were spinning pretty fast when they hit. <laughs> yeah, pretty yep. crazy. And if you play back the footage too, you can see as soon as I hit the ground, I cranked up the throttle again and you can see that thing twist over to the left on its side, which was really stupid. But I think it's just a matter of training, right? If I had a good training and I was prepared to lose motors like that, then I would be set. Um, but not having done it before too many times, uh, that feeling just kind of like freaks me out a little bit and I just kind of let off. But I really should have just kept my cool and I would have been totally fine. Good? I want to go get it, but I couldn't. You good? Yeah, right? Yeah, I'm good. Everybody okay? That was a fun one. You good? So I want to actually protect the wires on the drone, so if you guys could lift those two sides and then set it on the ground. Okay. Okay. Like what sides? So lift this cool. side. Right here? Yep. Yeah. We'll lift it straight up. Perfect. Is it okay? You okay? Oh, I'm good. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Well, I'm glad I stayed and you didn't call me and say that happened. At least I saw it. I feel like I was in a little bit more control. Hunter broke it twice and potentially almost got very injured too, which is probably the scariest part. So Hunter, I don't know if it was on the vlog, but you said you were feeling a little off today. I might have caught that on camera. I wasn't feeling a little off. So what happened was that ball bounced back at us. So we just got to use our brain when we're doing these things. Yeah, but that's also this. You also crashed out there yeah. that's true that's true we're trying a lot of new stuff today stuff that's never been done before so for sure it's definitely like it's t-rex in one day yeah. it's all because of me yeah it's because of this guy it's his yeah, fault come so. up to out of the blue from ohio and wow. you break it you buy it i guess <laughs> yeah <laughs> the fact that something's gonna go wrong because like we're pushing it hard i'm glad you're in one piece because i saw it from over there around the corner you cool. going sideways oh, and coming yeah. down and i couldn't house, see right? where you landed yeah. You flew in a house. Yeah, I have extreme control. I can hold perfectly still. 
Not, not when that happens, though. Not with this, though. Yeah, this came bouncing back at us. I it figured he could fly inside the house with a fastball, no problem. <laughs> I'm glad you're okay, dude. That was. Uh, you dude, crazy. I'm totally fine. Yeah, I wanted to like come like, court, grab like, you, but the I was like, fun. I'm it's meant to be used and stuff. Yeah, it'll I'm suck to fix, but I mean, you know, today it's the name of the game. I'm gonna. He crashed and broke it. No. Fell out of the sky. Is he okay? What? Luckily, he's okay. He literally crashed and came crashing down. Yeah, it's crazy. Oh, 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 oh! Oh my god! It's really, really sketchy. So I came down. Oh my, you got all your fingers? I didn't see any red. It was good. That is the opposite of a fun one. That looks so scary. Thank God he wasn't higher. I feel like if he was like even like three feet higher, like he could have broken his tailbone because of the way he fell. Wait, so he actually crashes? Mm-hmm. What? I did not know about this. Oh, shoot. What? Wait, was he okay though? Well, we're about That's to find out. So sketchy. <laughs> Literally all the freaking, the blades like all came off. What the heck? Oh my gosh, okay, yeah, that was pretty bad. <laughs> Imagine if he did that How one. How did you not know? <laughs> I don't know, nobody told me. It but happened if right he did there. That one, he was like flying like 30 feet up. That's what I'm saying. That would've been so bad. Could've been so bad. It's been over a week since the actual crash and Hunter hasn't even seen the footage yet, so he's about to watch it for the very first time. All right, let's see so what this looks like. This is one angle that was filmed in the back corner over there. And uh, let's see how it goes. All right, this makes me nervous. Ooh. All right, so talk me through. You're holding the basketball. You're about to take off. Yeah, I'm feeling good right now, you know? I mean, we've, we've done this a couple times. We've already thrown the ball, but oh! So it bounces back, comes at me, and just <laughs> knocks out a blade. And it looks pretty vicious just watching it here, but I mean, when I was flying, I saw the ball come at me and bounce on the board and come straight up. So it was kind of, I, I can kind of play it back in slow motion in my head because I remember exactly what was happening. But uh, yeah, that ball came down. It hits the board and it just knocks out a motor, takes me out. And it's crazy because when it first happened, at first I was like, wait a second, I don't even feel a difference. What freaked me out is it started making insane noises. I saw everybody running. I saw the propeller kind of explode off, um, but it really didn't affect my balance at all. But I just started to overcompensate, kind of like what happens when you're on snow driving. And yeah, it just. All right, so here's what I see first. So you come down, you do land feet first, that's good. Yep. Your board is, you know, hitting, taking the impact, your feet are taking impact. And then here's what you, you know, normally, like for skateboarding, you don't want to put your arm out. So there's your wrist, that's probably why you're saying your left wrist hurts. Yeah, yeah. And you can see the intense bang, or bend on that. <laughs> you can see the intense oh, bend. Wow. Of the elbow, yeah. To... See that one looks gnarly. It's a, it's a good flex. Yep. But here's the other thing that I noticed. So right after that, the initial impact, and we keep skipping frame by frame. Look at your controller. It goes down, and you bang the controller. Yep. Batteries come out. You, the batteries are out of your controller. Your motor is rev up. Oh, interesting. See so that. here's what happened. As I was crashing, hitting the ground, I must have tensed up and pulled that controller back. And then it received that As signal, it back. and then I destroyed it on the ground, but it still had that signal, and it cranked up into speed. Um, so I, when I was doing that, I remember I, I noticed it's cranking up, so I just stayed on my back and let it destroy those propellers. But it's one of those things, if anything touches those propellers, they're just going to explode, which is kind of a nice safety feature. But uh, yeah, it's one of those things we probably should have been able to predict. But yeah, so what was going through my head when I hit the ground was, uh, you know, I was actually calm, cool, and collected. The only thing I was worried about was, okay, we damaged the drone, how can we prevent further damage because I put like my heart and soul into this thing so mm -hmm. we were leaning back and just smashing wires and stuff and so I told everybody okay let's lift this thing up slowly make sure we don't damage it any more than it already is because I know what those connections look like they break off you're done so as you guys can imagine the world's first drone is definitely not a cheap project and Hunter was the first person in the world to ever figure out a drone that you can stand on and fly around as capable as he does talk to me about what do you think 
that crash cost? How much total repairs is that gonna be? Um, yeah, so I mean, think about all these parts are pretty much custom. Like, these things are hand put together. So what does a blade cost? Like, one small blade, there's 10 of them on there. What does one cost? Yeah, so I'm switching to a new design. It's actually about 250 bucks a prop. So that's $2,500 just on the actual band blades of yeah. the actual drone, just gone right out the window. Okay, so what else broke? I'm sure something else damaged too. As soon as we crashed, we cracked off an arm. Mm -hmm. So that alone is, again, more custom carbon fiber. And then, like, motor mounts, any motors damaged in this? Oh, yeah. Ton, uh, almost all the motor mounts are destroyed. So, guys, as you can imagine, Hunter, from that crash alone, just from one basketball shot on a drone, has literally cost him probably tens of thousands of dollars to be able to put all of this back together. So, he is going to need your help as much as he can. So, guys, please go to his channel and subscribe. The link is going to be in uh, the description below. But every single sub that you go and go to his channel is going to help him tremendously. And the revenue from this video is also going to help with the rebuild of this project because we want this board to be fixed. We want to build a better, we want to make it safer, and we want to see more amazing content of Hunter flying around here at the Team Our House and other crazy places that he goes. So guys, your help will be greatly appreciated. 100%. Yeah, I appreciate that, guys, because I'm not stopping, right? So there's a good chance this will happen again. So if you go subscribe, you're probably going to see some cool stuff. But... That's true. You'll see a lot of awesome updates on his end. Yep. So go subscribe to his channel, and we'll see you guys on the next vlog. Let's do it. Peace.